to have Samach Beis, Samach Beis, right at the top of the Yomad. Tanya ben Azayim, al kol mishkav shchav, chutz min akarik, you can lie down on any surface except on the ground. Because the ground, it'll be cold. If he's not properly covered over there, it'll be cold. So lying down on the ground, he said, you should not do that. And similarly, you can sit on any surface, on any chair, except a beam. A beam is narrow and it's, it's high, it's dangerous. You should not sit on a beam. Tomorrow we'll discuss now in this Omud uh, several things and items which are of practical nature. There is a discussion in the Mephorshim if it has a Ruchnius implication as well and what the Ruchnius implication is. But the Pashup Chan and the Gemara is that these are practical things that uh, items and aces that are for a person's physical well being. Amr Shmuel, Shina Balmud sleeping in the early morning is Istamal Parza. It's like a coating of steel on iron and it fortifies and just fortifies a person. Yet see Balmud relieving himself early in the morning, Kistamal Parza is also beneficial for the person, it strengthens the person. Barakapora have a mazamilla with dinner. He used to sell expressions for dinorim. Pashup Chad is, is that literally he charged money, he charged dinorim for the eitzes that he was giving. Uh, some of Forsham learned that it doesn't mean literally that he charged money for it. It means is that he would, on a, a quest, if a person really wanted it and, 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 and needed it, then he would to give him these eitzes. So what did he say? One of the eights was, oh, the is a halt. When you're very hungry, don't delay and eat right away. <clears throat> when you're very thirsty, don't delay and drink right away. <clears throat> when your pot is boiling over, meaning when a person has the need to relieve himself, <clears throat> <clears throat> then he should go and he should not delay. <clears throat> when they sell the shayfer in Rome, in Rome, that is a time for the, that they, they're buying and, and selling the uh, and figs in the market. So Bar Mazvin Taina Taina Dabu Chazavin. The son, his father, <coughs> sells figs. He should sell the figs of his father. Even if his father is not present, he should not delay. <coughs> he should not delay and he should sell the figs of his father because it's an opportune time and if he uh, delays, he might miss it. So even if his father is not there, he should not delay and should sell it right away. When you go onto the roads, to relieve yourself, on the fields, don't turn to the right or the left, don't turn to one side or the other side. Because women might be there and they might be there and relieving themselves. And it's not proper to look at them. Rasafra on the basic he went to basic he's also of Abba Nakhale Abba he coughed on the door as to indicate that he would like to come in. Omarle Leol Mar. So he said, Come in. Baal said the Nafik after they left, Omarle he objected, he said to him, At Hashalis Lasir, you have not gone to Rome. The Gamat Lamila the Sayer, and you're learning from their customs. They're not Sanuwa, they are not Sanu in the basic Kise. They speak in the basic Kise, which is not modest, which is not proper conduct, and you're learning from their practices. Love Hachi Tanan, didn't we learn Medura Isusham? There was in the base of Migdish, there was a bonfire, a basic Kise shall covet, and it had a basic Kise, a bathroom of covet. So why is it called a Kise, a basic Kise shall covet? Vizayak Vaida. This was the covet, but so in all, if you found that it was locked, then you knew that it was occupied. But so, then you knew that it was not occupied, meaning it's not proper conduct to talk, it's not proper to speak. They had the sim, and if it was locked, then it was, he knew it was occupied, otherwise he could go in. And why you're speaking? So it's not proper for you to be speaking. Vahusavar, he said the reason that he did say Vahusavar Masukanhu, he thought that he was a, in, in danger, that, that it was an emergency, and it would be dangerous, therefore, to delay. So he didn't want it to delay him. The son of Shimon ben Galim Loimer, Omen Achaiser, if a person is holding himself back, and, and then he backs himself up when he has to relieve himself. Maybe as a Ramli day, Hadraik, and it brings the person to a sickness in the stomach, a swelling in the stomach. Seal and Achaiser, and similarly by Meirag Lyam, if he withholds himself, then maybe as a Ramli day, Yarkin, it brings the person to jaundice. 
Rabbi Lazar, all the basic keys, he went to a bathroom. Also, how Paraso, a certain Persian came, Dochke, and he pushed him aside. Karmo Lazar and Afak, and he left. Rabbi Lazar left. Also, that kind of snake came, Shampal Karakasha, and he ripped his rectum. Korele Rabbi Lazar, the et and Adam Tachtecha, I'll put a person in place of you to receive the punishments that you were supposed to receive. I'll bring someone else in your place. I'll take away Adam Ela Edoim. It says Adam, don't take Adam Ela Edoim. So therefore, it's a uh, reference over here to Adam. Now, the, the gears that we have over here is how Parso, which is a Persian, which doesn't fit in to this Rosh, which time by Adam. There is a Girsa, other Girsois have it that it was not a Persian, it's Adoima. Somebody from Adam, and that fits into the drosha of Adam. So we see over here that the the Romans, the Ed, uh, Edom, they were not Sanua in the basic Kisei, and they were didn't have the proper conduct in the basic Kisei. So in the previous Maisa before, with Rav Safra and Rav Abba, then he said you went to Seir and you adopted the customs of Seir, who are not uh, modest, who are not Sanua in the basic Kisei. The Marsha and Tomid, we brought down the Mishnah and Tomid about the Madura basic Kisei shall cover the Marsha himself. Tomid says, why is it called Seir and not Edoim? The common expression is Edom, and as we see over here, is Edom. And he said, you have not yet gone to Seir, and, so, and you're adopting the, uh, the practices of, of Seir, of Edom. He uses that expression because, as we learned previously, <coughs> the, the shade of the basic Kisei is Doima to the goat which is a sawyer. And sayer and sawyer, they have that play on the words, which are closely, the words have that, that same uh, similar similar pronunciation. Let's see, so this is a mice by David and Shoal a Melech, where and Shoal was being right of David, he was trying to kill him. And there was a mice that's brought down and say for Shmuel that one time, while Shoal was being right of David, was pursuing him, he had to relieve himself, so he went into a cave, and David Amel had the opportunity to kill him, but he didn't. He spared his life. So, so David Amel said, you think that I want to kill you? You see that I have mercy on you. I could have killed you right now, and I didn't. So the more is not bringing down a Misa, it involves with the basic kisei. It's, it's a maisa with David Melech. Shol Melech was pursuing him and tried to kill him. And at one time when he was pursuing him, he had to relieve himself. He went into a cave. He went into a cave where David Melech happened to be hiding there. And David Melech had the opportunity to kill him. He could have killed him, killed him, but he spared his life. So then he approached Shol afterwards and he said, I could have killed you. You, you see that that I'm not I'm not out I'm not pursuing. Why are you pursuing me? You think I'm a threat to you? I could have killed you, but I had mercy on you. So the pasuk says, "Va'amar lahargecha va'talchas alecha va'amar va'amarti mi boile." It should say not va'amar va'amarti. I thought to kill you, but talchas v'chasi, and I had mercy v'chasi mi boile. Amar v'lazar amar le'dovel l'shol. He said the following. This was the conversation. Minatay ben harigat ato. Menatai, really, you are Chai Misa. I could have killed you. Bedin. Sharei, Roidev Because you're being Roidev, you're being Roidev and pursuing me to kill me. So the din is, If someone is coming to, pursuing to kill you, you kill him first. Ella, why did I have mercy on you? Ella, Tzniyaz, Shai Sabachi, Chosa, Alech. I saw your Tzniyaz, that you were Tzanu in the basic Kisei. I had mercy on you. As before she explained, I saw that you're, 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 but how hush of a person you were, and you're, you're meetest taivas, and I had mercy on you. Umayhi, tersiv, it says, vayavel, a gidrus et sain, el that he came where there was the, the gidrus et sain, the pans with the sheep, by the, by the derach, the shamar, there was a cave, vayavel, shol, a hasa, chazraglo, and shol came to relieve himself, and tana, geder, lishnim, amina, geder, was one, and within another pen, Umar left Umar, and he went to cave within a cave. He went into a place, very tsanua, a pen within a pen, a cave within a cave, Lahasach, to relieve himself. Omar Wilazam Alamed, Shasachach Asma Kesuka. 
So Sikh Khatsma Kasuka says Lahasek he uses that expression Lahasek Raglam, he made himself like a suka, he covered himself, he was protected and covered and with very, very sandua. So it says Vayika Vayakam David Vayifras as Kanafamiel Shell Shoal Balat. It says that David cut the corner of Shoal's garment, meaning to show us a simon that he could have killed him, but he didn't, he cut the corner of his garment. Amr of Yaisa Brahmanina, Kolam of Azas, Vagonam, if a person is, a, disgraces clothing, he is Mavazit, he disgraces the clothing, so if in an anime. So here he cut the garment and he showed it was like a bazillion for the garment. And so if that he doesn't get Hana from clothing. Shinevra Melch David Zakin Babi Yamin Vay Hasub Begon Vlayachim Lai. He was not able to warm himself, they covered it with clothing, and he wasn't able to warm himself. This that the Oynish for being Mavaza the Beged of Shola Melech in his older age, he was not able to warm himself with clothing. So in another Maisa that where Shaul was pursuing David. So David approached him and said, If Hashem was Mesis, he enticed you to pursue me. Then Yarach Mincha, literally, he should smell the the korban Mincha, the Mincha that I'm offering, meaning he should accept my tefillahs and dissuade you from pursuing me. Omer Belozer, Omer Lekoris Baruch Lo David Mesis Chorusly, you're calling me a Mesis that I'm a Mesis. Harayani Machshil Chabadavar Shafilotin Oikin Shabbes Rabban Yoyim Oisa, I'm going to cause you to stumble and make a mistake on something very simple that even children in Cheder Tinoik Shabbes they know it's a, and often a pasuk. When you count B'nai Yisrael, you don't count them by the head, you count them by by taking a maxis a shekel, you cover them, count them by taking coins. But David made a mistake and he counted them. He did a head count. So there was the Oynesh and Oxiv Vayosis as David Bahem Loimer Lech Manas Yisrael. So he this he was Mesis. David called the Gurdish Borg, you calling me a Mesis? I'm gonna cause you to stumble in something that even to know you should base Robin Yaid and I say. The Satan, the Yatsar Hara was Mesis, Mita Kanegan Mita, he was Mesis David, he enticed David to count him with a head count. We came the Manino and then once he counted it, we shot him in a kaifer. And he counted them without taking the kaif, without taking the money. And so therefore there was the there was the dever, there was the plague that that afflicted them from the morning until the appointed time. So it was a punishment. It was Mesa's David Amel to do a head count without taking kaifer. And then there was the Oynish that they had counted. So there was the the Dever, they had the plague from the morning until Eismoyed. My Eismoyed, what is Eismoyed? Omar, Shmuel, Saba, Chasan, Derevachanina, Mishmei, Derevachanina, Mishas, Shritus, or Tomid. From the time that the morning, the Tomid shall boyke, they shafted the Tomid, Achas, Rikosa, until the time that they did the Zrik Zadam of the Tomid. Rabbi Yoichin, Amar, Ad Chatsoyis, Mamish, it means till Chatsoyis from the time of the Shrit of the Tomid, till Chatsoyis, which is the latest time where the Tomid, the last time that the Tomid shall boyke can be brought. There was a plague for that a period of time. So Hashem said to the Malach Hamashkis, who, who caused a great death amongst the nation. He said, the Kodesh Baruch wanted to be my I wanted to stop the Malach from continuing with the Hariga, with killing the people with the plague. So it says that Yomel Amalech Hamashta Ba'amrav literally means that he destroyed a, a great number of the nation. But in the Darshan it says, the Kodesh Baruch said, the Tuli Rav Shabbat, in place of killing all this multitude of Kal Yisrael, then take one who is a great one from them. And that will be in place of the multitudes of Kal Yisrael. Tuli Rav Shabbat, Sheesh Bo Lifrim Behem Kamachaydas. And that will pay the debt of many others. By Sesha, Mes Avisha ben Sruya, Sheshakal Karuba Shal Sanhedrin, he was the very Hosh of Avisha ben Sruya, was Shakal, was equal to Rav of the Sanhedrin, he was Nifter, and the plague abated 
the killing stopped. So after the destruction, Hashem saw, and then he was placated. My role, what did he see that caused it to end the Magefa, to end the plague? Omrav Ro Yaakov Avinu. He saw Yaakov Avinu, Dersi, Vayemer Yaakov, Kasher Ro. He said, when he saw them, he said, Malach, this is Machna Lakim. This is the Machna Lakim. So we have the word Ro, that Ro and Ro, that we say that that you must have seen Yaakov Avinu, the Schus of Yaakov Avinu, and the Schus of Yaakov Avinu protected them. Some want to learn that the Malachim that Yaakov Avinu saw, that Malachim that were there to protect Yaakov Avinu, were there to protect his children as well. He saw the Efer of Yitzchak, meaning he saw that the Schos of the Akeda, Shenemra Lakim, so also the Ra and Yira, it's also the same thing. So he saw the Schos of the Akeda. Rabbi Yechon Amar Beis Hamikdash Ro. He saw the Beis Hamikdash. The Chsiy Bahar Hashem Yei Ro. So also the same word. So he saw the Schus of the Beis Hamikdash that protected them. Pligi Bar Rav Yaakov Bar Yidiv Rav Shmuel Bar Nachmeni Chad Amar Kesef Kipurim Ro. He saw the Kesef Kipurim that Bnei Yisrael when the counting was done in the Midbar they gave this Kesef they gave the Matzos a shekel which is a Kapara and it says in the pasuk over there that this should be a Zikaron. It should be as a Koran. So that Zecher now was Oymet, stood for them now to protect them. The Kharamra Beis Amigdash rule. Another one says Beis Amigdash, like we said before, and we stomach him on the Omar. Beis Amigdash Ra Shinem Rashi, Yaymar Hayyam Bahar Shem Ye Ra. We have the same word of Ra. So the Mishnah continued and said, Lo Yikonis Adam Laharabais Mimakla. A person should not go into Naharabais with a walking stick, etc. And he should not make it a kapandria. He should not make it a, a kapandria when he walks through there. My kapandaria, what does that mean? I'm a Rambam kapandri kishma. It means it's a acronym, kapandri kishma. Rav Chana bar Rav Adam mishmei the Rav Sama braid Rav Mori Amar kemando Amar inish akamel kifna adori ayal ba. So it's a kapandaria is a shortcut. So the first shot is a kapandri kishma. The, um, which means which means a shortcut. And some learn that this is a Loshan Raimi, that it is a kind of word means literally, it means a shortcut. The second shadow is it's an acronym. The second uh, is an acronym is why go around? Why should I go around the row of houses? I'll go through this house. I'll go straight through here. Mandamra Inish. Why go around this row of houses? I'll go here through this one, which is a shortcut. Now you can't make a shortcut. You can't show a shortcut to our bias. You cannot make a shortcut through a shul. A person can't go through a shul and use it as a shortcut. But if he comes to the shul not for a short, he's coming for a shul for dvar mitzvah. He comes to learn. He comes to daven. Mutalasus pandaria. Then, then he can use it. He can go out in another exit and use it as a shortcut. If that's not the purpose of him going into shul, then if it turns out to be that it's a shortcut, then it's mutter. Rabavavamar im hayashvil mi kora mutter. He says, if the shul was built, there was a path there before the shul was built. And it was a path that people were using to travel. Then the shul was built there. They do not have to now, they're not prohibited from using that same direction. It was a path before the shul. They can still use it now, even though the shul is there now, as a shortcut. Amar of Chalva, Amar of Huna, and Nichnas Lebesa Knesses Lis Pavel. If he comes into Shul to Daven, Mutter Lesoyse to Kapandari, then it's Mutter to make it into a shortcut. He's allowed to now use it as a short way, as a shortcut, and to go out. Shenem Rabbe Voy Amar Tnei Hashem B'Moedim. So it says when they come to Hashem B'Moedim, when they come to the Azora, so they go into one direction. If they come to the north, then they exit in the south, and the south exit in the north. You know, they're not allowed to turn their backs. But if they go in one direction, they go out the other direction, so it will be for some people a shortcut. But it's motor because they come there to Daven. Uraki ke mekal a person is not allowed to spit in the Harabai, it's mekal 
Amr Rabbi Bivi Amr Rabbi Shua Ben Levi Kol Araykik Bar Abayis Vizmanazeh Kil Araykik Bevasena. If he is Raykik in the Harbayis, it's like he's Raykik Bevasena in in the eye, so to speak. Kivyochel in the eye. Other Rabbanu Shalom Shenem Rav Ayeh Ena Ena Veli Misham Kol Hayomim. So the Rabbanu Shalom, my eye is there Kol Hayomim. How can a person spit in? And a place, Rain Shalom is there. The presence of the Rain Shalom is there.